Hey Tech Heads, it's Fina here with a deep dive into the technical side of the MG4. So today I want to take a closer look at one of the innovative technologies that make MG4 a standout in the EV market. It's uniquely designed MG Rubik's Cube battery, or as it's called in Europe, the one pack battery. Now, before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, I just want to take a second to welcome you. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. If you have not subscribed already, please consider subscribing if you enjoy our content. And of course, feel free to like, share, and comment as you see fit. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's go take a dive. The one pack battery is a joint product of SAIC and CATL. So the CATL Quillen battery and the SAIC one pack battery have a high degree of similarity. And they both adopt a vertical cooling down structure but the one pack has a double cell lying layout as opposed to the side standing layout of the quillen battery in general the saic one pack has similarities to battery technologies launched by several car companies before such as the pursuit of compatibility safety uh, long battery life high energy density and etc so the difference really lies in the way that the one pack is used Standardization is more conducive to battery replacement and the recumbent cells can make the battery pack thinner and flatter, thus making the center of gravity of the vehicle lower, the center of mass distribution more uniform, and the spatial layout more flexible. The Rubik's Cube or the one pack battery is thinner in a vertical direction, but its volume utilization rate is lower than that of the Quillen battery. Now this battery pack showcases a flat rectangular design that's developed specifically to function efficiently on the nebular vehicle platform. The Rubik's Cube or one pack employs a cell to pack design with several cell configurations varying from 96S to 108S set in a 1P configuration. Initially operating at a 400 volt system voltage, this battery pack has been ingeniously designed for future upgrades up to an impressive 800 volts. One thing that's remarkable about this battery pack is its design flexibility. So it comes in three height options, 110 millimeters, which is the option used in the MG4, 125 millimeters, and 137 millimeters. So it's compact enough to fit into a wide variety of vehicles while ensuring an optimal power output. The battery uses liquid cooling applied at the base of prismatic cells, which is a strategic arrangement that places cells on both sides of the coolant plates, thus efficiently reducing the area of coolant plates needed. Safety and structure are pivotal in the design of the Rubik's Cube battery. So two longitudinal beams structure the pack, forming three north to south cell base with pack frame perimeter mounting points. For safety, the battery is equipped with a zero thermal runaway protection system, which aligns with the stringent five-star European safety standards. Looking towards the future, the Rubik's Cube or one pack battery is ready to support battery as a service swap systems. It also has an integrated service oriented architecture that enables battery management systems to receive over the air updates throughout their life cycles. So that's the rundown on the MG Rubik's Cube, also known as the one pack battery, a cornerstone of innovation in the MG4. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below, you know, share your thoughts, insights, questions, ideas, whatever it may be. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a like, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also, if you enjoy reading news from the EV world, feel free to follow us on Twitter. We're under the same handle, CSEC, Tech Savvy, or just CSEC actually will do it. I'll leave a you know, link in the description below. So that's it for me today. Until next time, and you stay savvy.